Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm uh, doing a little bit of brazing here, and I just want to show you uh, the process and just kind of uh, so you can observe how it typically goes. So I've already got uh, nitrogen flowing through these lines, and the reason you flow nitrogen through is to prevent oxidation inside of the uh, copper pipe, because basically you'll get this black stuff that accumulates on the outside. I'll show that to you uh, when I'm done brazing maybe here. Um, but yeah, that's what that's what we got. So we've got that and then we have our uh, braze uh, ready to go. And this is, a, this is a special alloy that actually has no silver in it, uh, but it does a really great job when you're working with standard fittings. Uh, if you wanted to, if you had uh, a case where you were brazing something that had uh, a bigger any bigger gaps that you're trying to fill or if you're trying to repair something uh, braze that contains at least six percent silver tends to be it flows a lot nicer it's just like it's more like working with honey this can be a tiny bit more runny but it works well as well so hopefully I can get the camera here so you can see and uh, we'll get brazing So that was kind of like a first person brazer view. Hope it was okay and not too shaky. Anyway, and then uh, you're gonna wanna follow up and with a visual inspection 
and just uh, look all the way around each one of the joints that you just finished brazing. Make sure that there's a, a nice bead of braise all the way around so that uh, you for sure won't have any leaks. And uh, yeah, just the key is moving your heat around and uh, making sure that you don't overheat it, uh, but getting it just hot enough so, so that it flows nicely, but it's not too runny. And you can see here too, this uh, black stuff that builds up on the outside of the uh, copper, that's that uh, oxidation, oxidization or whatever, oxidation that I was talking about, that could build up on the inside of the pipe, uh, but by running nitrogen through that, it'll keep the inside of that pipe nice and clean. So. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please rate it up and feel free to subscribe down below and hit that little bell icon if you want to uh, be notified about future videos. And I'll try leaving the link in the description to some braze and uh, maybe a torch similar to the one I use uh, if that is helpful to you. Again, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you in the next one.